Hello my dears, unfortunately we cannot have this lesson in our traditional way just face to face in the classroom because of the quarantine, but let's try a new type of work, a new way of working, uh, let's try to have some kind of distance studying, I hope you will like it and I hope you'll do all the tasks that I give you. So. Today we are going to speak about your hobbies. The topic of our lesson is what is your hobby and also we'll speak about infinitive and gerund as a grammar part of our lesson. So let's start. When you meet a new person, when you want to make friends with someone new, you often ask him or her different questions and among those questions are what do you like doing, what sort of hobbies do you have? What do you get up uh, to in your free time? These questions help us understand that person better, find something similar, find some common interests. And if you have common interests, you will become better friends uh, and you will understand each other better. So, let's speak about hobbies. And we'll start with Simpsons family and rather ordinary hobbies that any common person may have. So, what is the list of the hobbies? Uh, let's read it. Watch TV, read magazines, go shopping, go skiing, go to the beach, ride a bike, go skateboarding, listen to music, ride a horse, roller skate, do my homework, play the guitar, play the drums, play basketball, eat donuts. So let's try to match pictures and these expressions. So the first is, the first must be skin, go skin, okay? The next one, hmm. it could be drawing, writing, I don't know what, but I don't see any word, any word, like drawing or writing, so let's skip it. Next is definitely skateboarding, go skateboarding. And the next is roller skate. Oh, I'm sure you know it, it's horse riding, ride the horse. She has headphones on, so it's listening to music. She likes listen. She likes to listen to music. Next, TV. Watch TV. Next one, saxophone. There is nothing about saxophone here, so we should find another word, another expression for this picture. This picture is, of course, ride a bike. Next, magazines or newspapers, I don't know, read magazines. Next one is play the drums. Oh, who doesn't like to go shopping? Go shopping. Donut, big tasty donut. Eat donuts. Then the next, play basketball. Hmm, it could be, it could be windsurfing or swimming, but I think it's better to say go to the beach. Mm -hmm. And the last one is to play the guitar, of course. Oh, not the last, it's not the last one. We have skipped one picture, so let's see what have we already used watch tv read magazines go shopping go skiing go to the beach ride a bike go skateboarding listen to music ride a horse roller skate do my homework so the last one is do my homework okay these hobbies were rather common rather typical and ordinary how to speak about your ordinary or unusual hobby if you want to tell someone about it? 
you can use such constructions in my free time I in my free time I do my homework in my free time I watch TV in my free time I eat donuts when I have some spare time spare means free when I have some spare time I play the drums I play the guitar I ride a horse when I get the time I when I get the time I go shopping listen to music go skiing my hobbies are I relax I relax by and after preposition by we should use gerund I relax by watching TV listening to music riding a bike reading magazines playing the drums my hobbies are bird watching playing sports um, skiing horse riding roller skating and others also you may use such construction as I am interested in I am keen on I am into I enjoy uh, and then you should complete this construction with a noun or with a gerund form of some verb for example I am interested in music or I am interested in listening to music I am keen on uh, I am keen on drawing I am keen on riding a horse uh, I am into I am into I am into sport mm -hmm. and I am into playing basketball and I enjoy we use I enjoy uh, in the same way also we may use words really or quite to emphasize our sentences I am really interested in I am quite into I hope these words will make your sentences more colorful more bright and more interesting well uh, during the previous lessons we spoke about gerund and infinitive and there was a group of verbs like to have uh, like like hate uh, love and others which take both infinitive and gerund after them so what is the difference between like doing something and like to do something we use like plus gerund to talk about general likes I like fishing or I like drawing I like reading I like watching films I like listening to music we use like plus infinitive to talk about more specific likes I like to go fishing at the weekend uh, I like to read a book after all my work finishes so again gerund for general likes infinitive for specific likes now uh, for the next task we'll need your textbooks so you may read this text from the screen or you may use your textbooks if you prefer reading from your textbooks uh, you may find this exercise on page 210 it's exercise 3 on page 210 and this is the story the story tells us what hobby is are you ready then let's start reading follow me please and try to understand this text what is a hobby in the 16th century a favorite toy for children of all ages was a hobby horse it appears a hobby horse could be as simple as a stick or it could have a decorated wooden imitation of horse head attached whether simple or elaborate children use them for the games of the time involving war and knighthood 
In time, the popularity of the hobby horse declined, but the pleasure of doing something outside the routine activities of daily life had brought a new word into the language, the word hobby, which is a shortened form of hobby horse. Hobbies today include a vast range of activities. The definition that best covers all these activities is probably constructive leisure time activities. Hobbies differ like taste is. If you have chosen a hobby according to your character and taste, you are lucky because your life becomes more interesting. Hobbies are divided into four large classes – doing things, making things, collecting things and learning things. The most popular of all hobby groups is doing things. It includes a wide variety of activities – everything from gardening to traveling and from chess to volleyball. Gardening is one of the oldest men's hobbies. It's a well-known fact that the English are very fond of gardening and growing flowers, especially roses. Millions of people all over the world spend their holidays traveling. They travel to enjoy picturesque places or just for a change of scene. It's always interesting to discover new things, different ways of life, to meet different people, to try different food, to listen to different musical rhythms. Making things includes drawing, painting, making sculptures, designing costumes, handicrafts. Two of the most famous hobby painters were President Eisenhower and Sir Winston Churchill. Almost everyone collects something at some period in his life – stamps, coins, matchboxes, books, records, postcards, toys, watches. Some collections have no real value. Others become so large and valuable that they are housed in museums and galleries. Many world-famous collections started with one or two items. No matter what kind of hobby you have, it's always the opportunity of learning from it. Learning things can be the most exciting aspect of a hobby. So let's come back to the beginning of this uh, of this text uh, and translate some words that you may have for um, you may have forgotten or maybe you have never seen before. So the first word is hobby horse. It's here in the picture. It's a hobby horse. Hobby horse, the word that gave us the modern word hobby. A stick. A stick is a part of hobby horse or just a separated unit, a separated item, hobby, uh, stick, palica. To attach. To attach, prijednuvati, elaborate. Elaborate, rozrobljuvati, podgotovljuvati, odvati. Knighthood. Knighthood, licarstvo. Decline. Decline, skorochovati, zmenšovati, ugasati. Shorten, shorten, skorocheni, ukorocheni. Vest, vest, veličezni, značimi. Picturesque, picturesque, malovniči. Sin, sin, scena, vidoviše, pejzaž, krajevit. Handicrafts. Handicrafts, remeslo rukodilja, rukodilja skoriše. Real value, value, cinnist. To house, as a verb, to house, utrimovati, rozmišovati, davati pritulok komus. Item, item, element, rich. Okay, so let's look back and see what types of hobbies are there, what groups of hobbies. Hobbies are divided into four large classes – doing things, making things, collecting things and learning things. Doing things, if you do something like playing, gardening, going somewhere. Making things – it's mostly about making things with your hands, handicrafts. Collecting to collect something that was done uh, that was made by other people, 
and learning of course learning you may learn from everything in your life well we'll analyze your own hobbies and i hope you will be able to tell me about your own hobby maybe next lesson or a bit later well when you speak about hobbies it's not enough just to say my hobby is reading my hobby is uh, swimming it's too primitive and it's not interesting so use more details and say why you like your hobby why you like doing this I really enjoy going to the gym because let's look at these examples because it keeps me fit it gets me out of the house you know it's sociable I have met lots of new people it gives me something interesting to do with my life it's not very expensive and anyone can do it characterize your hobby my hobbies are all creative I have always enjoyed painting and drawing up to this moment I have always enjoyed present perfect tense I have always enjoyed because my hobby is technical it's good to spend time doing something completely different and I enjoy spending time making things like clothes okay more characteristics for your hobby your hobby is creative fascinating fascinating the whole future practical cheap enjoyable relaxing different unusual and you may complete this list with a lot of other verbs with a lot of other adjectives so as Simpsons had rather typical holiday uh, typical hobbies I'd like to present you a bit unusual hobby as a hobby I paint rocks with positive sayings of them on them uh, then leave them around town for people to find uh, would you like to find a painted rock with some nice saying on it like you are the best smile cheer up I think it would be very very pleasant such unexpected pleasant surprise okay and if you don't have a hobby what to do if you even don't have an idea about having any hobby here is the list of 50 hobby ideas for people with no idea and look at these words look at these words a lot of them have ending i n g what is that it's a gerund of course it's a gerund we take an ordinary verb for example to cook uh, attach this and in ing and get a new word cooking what to do to cook what cooking what thing is cooking so we change we uh, transform verb into a noun so mm, you will look through this table at home it will be a part of your homework to make top 10 of the hobbies that you would like to try I hope you will find some interesting ideas for you uh, and we started speaking about gerund uh, let's revise some grammar about gerunds uh, we use ger gerund uh, in different situations but one of them is after proposition if the previous verb has a proposition the next verb comes in the form of gerund for example they admitted to committing the crime Leslie made up for forgetting my birthday he is thinking of studying abroad uh, also remember that there are many adjective plus proposition combination combinations and noun plus proposition combinations so they are also followed by gerund Sandy is scared of flying Nick is anxious about taking the examinations and so on don't forget about spelling while attaching ing ending and now let's look at this exercise it's very important to remember about gerund after prepositions but 
uh, it's also important to know what prepositions to use because there are a lot of such so-called prepositional phrases, prepositional verbs. So you should memorize some verbs with the prepositions after them. Let's check if you know what prepositions to use in these cases. Number one, my friend is good playing volleyball. To be good at, of course. Mm -hmm. Number two, she complains bullying. Complain, скаржитесь. She complains about bullying. They are afraid losing the match. To be afraid of. She doesn't feel working on the computer. She doesn't feel like, feel like, um, feel like, мати бажання, хотіти. We are looking forward to going out at the weekend. Laura dreams living on a small island. Laura dreams of living on a small island. Andrew apologized being late. Andrew apologized for being late. Do you agree staying in a foreign country? Do you agree with staying in a foreign country? The girls insisted going out with Carrie. The girls insisted on going out with Carrie. Edward always thinks of climbing trees. So memorize these prepositions, write, uh, write these expressions into your vocabularies and just memorize them. Well, uh, it's time for your home assignment now. So what do you have to do at home? First of all, read exercise number 3 on page 210 again. Read it again. Pay attention to gerund and infinitive form and translate this text orally for yourself. Then, uh, write down the answers into your copybook. There are two exercises from your textbook, exercise 8 and uh, on page 214 and exercise 2 on page 216. So, write the answers into your copybook. Then, use this picture and make up your own top 10 of hobbies you would like to try. And at the end, please fill in this form. It's a kind of self-work. Answer these questions about hobbies. Uh, press send and I will see all your answers. I'll check them and tell you about the results. Okay, that's all for today. Stay at home and learn online. Bye-bye. See you later. Goodbye.